channel is Jess and right now you're probably confused because I think my channel says the minimal Jess but I am going with Girl Tech Connect now so bear with me through those changes Google doesn't allow you to change your YouTube name for like 90 days or something like that so I need to wait like I think a couple more months so throughout this transition just bear with me my title of my channel will be mismatched from the intro and all the other things that you see so anyway that's out the way that's not the purpose of this video i wanted to do an unboxing i'm pretty excited about it um as you can probably see from the title i am unboxing the 12 mini the iphone 12 mini i debated back and forth about getting the 12 pro or the 12 mini um let's just be clear i didn't really actually need an upgrade the sole purpose of me getting an upgrade was to vlog i didn't want to have this big camera that i'm actually shooting on right now um to you know have to carry it around i can't it doesn't even have like the flip screen so i can't even see what i'm you know viewing when i'm vlogging and it's super heavy so i was like well if i can replace the idea of a camera with just my phone why not so that is what we're doing today also i wanted to do this vlog style so i'm sitting down for the first part we're gonna do the unboxing not gonna lie i already messed up and did the first part uh i messed up and did the part where people really like i guess if you're into like asmr and stuff like that the plastic coming off the box that's already done reason being is because yesterday i tried to sit down and film this and it didn't work out because my kids were around my little one didn't want to let me film she was sitting on my lap I tried to open the box, the phone fell out. Yeah, it was a mess. So we are going to do an unboxing for the first time. I have already seen this phone. Um, it may have fingerprints on it because I had to pick it up and everything, but yeah, it was a mess. So anyway, without further ado, I wanted to get that out first, that this is the unboxing for the first half of the video or the first whatever part. And then the rest of the day will be a day in my life. I have so much things that I have to do today. So after this, we'll cut to an actual vlog. And I'm excited because I'm going to vlog it on my 12 to test out the vlogging feature or the camera and everything like that. From what I've seen, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Here is the 12 mini. It's a small box. As you can see, I'm holding it with one hand. I'm a pretty small person. I am 5'3". Let Keith tell it I'm 5'2" but i digress uh this is the 12 mini i'm super excited about it um backstory like i said earlier in the video i wanted to go with the 12 pro originally but my dad actually got the 12 pro max in pacific blue which is absolutely gorgeous in person i might hopefully at some point throughout this vlog maybe i'll get to see him and get some footage of what his looks like but if not you guys can go see for yourself on apple or look at the millions of vid videos here on youtube for the pacific blue iphone so i was going to get the iphone pro but i started to research and watch all my favorite tech youtubers and after watching all of the tech youtubers that i usually watch whenever i'm trying to see if i want to buy something i made the decision that with my tiny hands and what i need it for the 12 mini is more than enough and i'm super excited because right now i'm actually using a 10r this is the white one and because of that because it's white i'm kind of over the lighter colors i my first iphone was a 5c it was a yellow one and then i had the 6 plus in gold the 7 plus in rose gold and now the 10r in white and i'm just kind of over the lighter colors so i wanted to go with the dark color so as you guys know the iphone 12 the iphone mini uh comes in green black white red and blue i think that's all the colors and i knew i didn't want white because i already have a white phone and i'm kind of tired of it um and then the green it was very very pretty but again i didn't want a light color keith actually just got um a red mini so i didn't want to have the same color as him plus i'm not a huge red person like i'll wear it sometimes but i don't really want a red phone that's just not me um so that left the blue and the black so i actually have been vlogging on my 10r throughout this whole week today is saturday by the way today is saturday december 19th 
the whole week I have actually been vlogging but what I'm deciding to do is not use any of that footage I actually vlogs my work days things with my children uh, some other stuff that I'll talk about in the vlog per portion of this video but I'm not gonna use any of that footage but the reason I brought that up is because part of that footage showed me going on bestbuy.com that's where I got my phone and buying the blue 12 mini so I bought the the 12 mini uh, and it ordered it everything went through fine that was probably at like 1 p.m. that day whatever day it was that I ordered it was probably like Thursday or Friday I don't remember um, they well today is Saturday it was Thursday <laughs> so they waited until like 10 p.m. that day to send me an email saying hey this is out of stock we don't even have it um, mind you the process or the the purchase had already gone through earlier so I'm thinking that maybe it went through they had it and then nobody fulfilled the order and then somebody else came in and bought it at the store and then they came back and said oh we don't have it fine totally fine because what happened was I'm so indecisive I'm a Leo and <laughs> I was going back and forth between the black and blue I'm like which one which one I know I'm not weird because I've heard other people on their vlogs. I've watched so many 12 mini vlogs and videos now. I've heard other people say that they determine the phone color by how it's gonna look in the case. Hear me out. I'm a case girl. I love cases. I will not ever, I will not like not wear a case. However, with this being such a beautiful phone, I did, even though it's gonna be black, I did still want to show the beauty of it in some capacity. So all of the cases that I looked at they have designs but they are still transparent to show the black color and the black when when you go through the pictures of the cases you know the examples of how they'll look in the different colors the black just looks so much cleaner with those designs against those colors than the blue did the blue was very pretty very very pretty but i actually planned to go get the blue one before they canceled it i was going to get the blue one and then go to best buy pick it up and then go and exchange it for a black one they did it for me they were like nope it's out of stock so i was like yes i actually was excited that it was out of stock because then i could turn around and just buy the black one so there is my story of how and why i chose the color that i did so this is the 12 mini i've said that a million times and obviously we're going to unbox it i'm not going to do your traditional unboxing where i show this on the table and all that stuff because there are so many videos out now um on this and so yeah um again regurgitating information but as we all know the new 12s none of them come with the block the charging block they come with this cord um the lightning cable um but it has a different end where the block is so if you want to use this you will have to buy an extra block um but you can charge your 12 if you have an old iphone like i do you can use your charger that came with those older phones which is what i plan to do um, I heard that if you get the block, the new, the block that did not come with these new phones, that your phone would charge faster, but I'm okay right now. I don't really, I'm in the house. Uh, I mean, I do plan on vlogging on it, but you know, it, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal, but if it becomes an issue, just we'll buy the block, <laughs> buy the block. All right. So this is, um, the little pin and this is so you can get your SIM card out if you need to swap it. And then, of course, the Apple sticker, which is actually pretty small because this is a small phone. Here is the iPhone. It is so tiny, so tiny. But the thing that sold me on the fact that it's so tiny is because I can actually use it with one hand. I know everyone is saying the same thing, but you can literally, I can't hold my 10R like this. I can't. Like my fingers, I, I can't even get my thumb to the bottom of this phone. It's not gonna work. And for size comparison, um, let me clear off that email. Um, <laughs> for size comparison, yeah, this phone basically fits. I'm trying not to drop it again because I did drop it yesterday. I didn't drop it on the floor. It just kind of fell out the box onto the table, so it's fine. It didn't get hurt. Uh, but this is size comparison here. And it's very, very, very pretty. I think the black looks really sleek. I never thought that I would actually want a black phone, to be completely honest with you. Um, I love, though, how the camera cutout is a, more of a matte, and so are the edges. They're more of a matte finish as well. This is her, him. I'm, this is him. 
You know, everybody's like, this is her, and she's so cute. And if we're going to make this like a person, this is, or like a whatever, <laughs> I'm going to make it a him, okay? This looks like a him. So, he's he, he cute. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to stop talking about my iPhone now. Okay, guys. Wow, the quality on this camera is just mind-blowing every time. Like, it looks like it's a beautiful sunny day, and it's really actually not. It's a super cloudy, gray, rainy, slash snowy day here. So I am super impressed by this camera. But anyway, um, I am actually with one of my babies. <laughs> it looks so sunny. Yes, it does. Um, it's so much more clear on this one. I'm so happy I went with this. But anyway, um, I am leaving the house now to go to, uh, where am I going? I have to go to T-Mobile, AK Sprint, whatever. Um, and then we're going to the grocery store and then I have to go to my aunt's house to um, Still social distancing guys. I'll probably just drop it out outside like tell her I'm there um, But I have to drop something off to her and then later on I have to go to my parents house to drop Ava off because she's spending the night with my mom Well and my dad she's having a little sleepover over there um, So I will see you guys when we get back Okay, so like I was saying um, I'm Gary put those mac and fries in the oven um, get them fed, get them baths. Um, well, Ava will take a bath probably at her grandparents' house because I don't really like to give them baths and take them out in the freezing cold like that. So I'll have her grandparents give her a bath. I'll give Leah her bath here. Um, and then, yeah, for the rest of the night, uh, once I get Ava situated where she's going, I plan on working, like finishing my, pro my project is finished. I just have to upload it to the local storage, huh? You wanna see? Okay. <laughs> now what? You just gonna? Okay. <laughs> there she is. So we got messy hair today. Yeah. I didn't, like I said, I got out the shower after I washed my hair. It was in a top knot. Oh, woo! She almost made me fall. Hold on, Leah. Um, it was in a top knot. Then I thought I wanted to do. Well, I took it down for like a washing go style. Um, Leah, get out the pantry. I took it down for like a washing go style, which you guys saw at the beginning, but that wasn't actually a washing go. It was literally, well, I guess technically that was literally a washing go because I didn't put anything in my hair because I decided last minute before I filmed that I wanted to wear it down like that. So that wasn't my traditional washing go. I usually make my curls super defined and super popping. Uh, but then after that, my hair was starting to shrink and dry and just do crazy stuff. So messy bun it is. I ain't do nothing today, like as far as going out the house, except for try to go to T-Mobile. I went there, they couldn't do what I needed them to do. And then, so I'm gonna have to go to the other spin store, um, buy one of our malls here. And, um, what else? Oh, I went to the grocery store and I'm gonna take Ava out. That's the only outdoor stuff that I got. I'm still waiting on my phone case to get delivered by Amazon. It says it's out for delivery and that it'll be here between 4.45 and 6.30 maybe. So, <laughs> so hopefully that comes soon. I think at this point, I might be able to see the actual tracking, like see where they are, like how many stops away they are. So hopefully they're here soon because I have a screen protector on this phone now, but I'm still super nervous about holding it without the case, so. I've been carrying it around in my pocket because I have on like some really soft sweatpants. These are actually men's pants. Um, so yeah, but I need to put their food in the yeah. oven. So, oops. Okay, so this is definitely for my phone. It's so pretty. And this camera is really picking up the detail and I don't even have like a lot of lights on, right? Well, I have all our lights on in here, but they're not bright. They're like the yellow lights, but you can really see the gold foil on here and I'm super excited because I always wanted a Sonics case. Daddy, um look at my it, new baby. She got born yesterday. It feels like it's um, super sturdy. Um, so we're going to pop this out. Let's see. What's that? It's just the, uh, it's just the paper part. She's okay. Um, it's just like the insert uh, to pretend like there's a phone in there. <laughs> Um, so yeah, see it is transparent, so the black will sh still show through this case. All right guys, so I think I'm gonna end the daily vlog here, but I wanted to first come on here and share with you guys my final thoughts on my first day vlogging from this new phone. 
I give it so far. Of course, this is the first day, um, but as of today, for the first day, um, I give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Um, the size couldn't be more perfect. It fits in my pocket. It fits in my hands. I can text and scroll through my phone with one hand. Um, the camera quality is amazing. I'm sorry. I live in a very busy street. So people are at the stoplight probably looking up here like, what the heck is she doing? But anyway, um, I love this phone. Love everything about it. The aesthetic, the look, the feel, how great it feels in my hands. Um, I will be getting the DJI osmo mobile 4 i think is what it's called um i think it's about 150 dollars retail i found it at best buy and i think that would be really really nice to have so i can have it stable and it's also going to be easier for me to hold it since i'll be vlogging and i won't have to like hold my arm out the whole entire time because even now my arm is getting tired but um i really just wanted to let you guys know that when i first got this phone this morning um well i got it on friday when I did the unboxing today, this was the first time that I ever turned it on or anything like that. Um, when I first turned the phone on, it was at about 67% to be exact. That was at around 10 a.m. It is now 6.15 p.m. and I'm on 23%. Now, for some, that might not be a lot or that might be a bad battery. I don't know. It's all preference. But for someone like me and what I plan on using this phone for, I'm kind of blown away because mind you i did not start on 100 percent. i've been vlogging all day and i still have like 23 percent left which is not bad because it's 6 15 so um on my 10r i could start at 100 percent at like 7 a.m and be on 13 percent by like 2 p.m so to me the battery has been absolutely amazing and that is also without vlogging i wasn't even vlogging on that phone for real the only thing i was doing is like you know your typical like filler five minutes scroll through Instagram here and there, but not even all day, because I don't spend a lot of time on Instagram or any social media platform. Um, besides YouTube, I'm I'm an avid YouTube watcher. Like I don't watch cable or anything like that. Um, very rarely watch Netflix. If my favorite YouTubers are not uploading or I don't see anything interesting, I'll go to Netflix as a backup. But yeah, guys, I haven't actually streamed anything from this phone yet. Yeah, no, because earlier during lunch, I still had my 10R, so I was still um, watching YouTube on that. But yeah, for the battery, to me, I think it's awesome, especially for it to be a smaller phone. But maybe if you do more heavy things, like you're answering emails on your phone all day, every day, or doing heavy content on your phone all day, every day, maybe the battery will go quicker for you. But for me, starting on 67% at 10 a.m. and it's 6.15 and I still have 23% left compared to what I just came from, that's a huge thing to me. So I give this phone right now today a 10 out of 10, but in about a month, we'll do another review just to see how I'm feeling about it battery wise, um, any, anything else, um, just learning the phone uh, because while the 10R is not that old, the 12 is definitely newer with a lot more um, pack for the camera at least, which is literally the main reason I got the phone. So. Um, hopefully I get the DGI. Isn't it called? Oh wait, it's a DJI, right? I've been saying DGI this whole time. DJI Osmo Mobile 4. That's what I'm after. So, and I have Keith help me with that because he is a videographer. So he'll know how to use that way better than I do. And he'll give me tips and tricks, hopefully, because he likes to make me do things on my own, which is fine. You should learn things on your own, but sometimes I try to cheat. So, <laughs> But I just wanted to get on here quickly before I end this vlog and let you guys know that the first day filming on it, I'm completely happy. I'm obsessed with this phone. This is probably my favorite iPhone I've ever had. So we'll see in about a month how I feel. But from now until then, any vlogs you see will be shot on this phone. So I'll continue to shoot my sit down videos on DSLR, but vlog wise, we're going to be on the 12th. So, okay. <laughs>